Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you have been requesting that I do the makeup tutorial for the look that I've been wearing in my past few videos and um, it's kind of more of like a really flawless matte skin with just a touch of glow on the cheeks and then bright, wide, fresh eyes. So I really like this look. I think it looks feminine and put together but still really clean and classic. So if you guys wanna see how I get the look from start to finish, foundation, cheeks, bronzer, eyes, lips, all of it, Let's get started. All right, so I am starting out with a clean face. I have nothing on except a little bit of moisturizer. Um, I do have a zit, so please ignore it. I know it's there. Um, for a primer today, I'm using my Too Faced Hangover RX primer. So I'm just putting this all over. I don't like to put it right under my eyes because it tends to get a little um, creasy under my eyes if I put this. I think maybe just because it's like too hydrating that it never dries under my eyes, but Everywhere else, it's good. While this dries a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes using my Mali Shadow Base and a Sigma F75 brush. For foundation today, I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I love this for a full coverage, um, more of a matte finish. I do have a whole um, video on my foundation routine. If you guys want to check that out, I'll have it linked below. But I'm putting it on with the um, Sigma 3D HD brush. After that, I conceal my under eyes with my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I'm in the shade Medium 2. Very full coverage concealer as well. I'm going to start by blending this also with the Sigma 3D HD brush, and then I'll go in and do some detail work with the concealer version of this brush. Okay, so that is foundation and concealer. I am going to work on my eyes a little bit while I let this dry. I kind of like to go back and forth between the eyes and the face, letting each step dry individually. That way it lasts a lot longer throughout the day, doesn't smudge or transfer onto clothes or anything like that. So next step for the eyes, I'm using this Sigma Shadow, shadow Base in the color Neutralize. It's like a peachy orange color and it has just a tiny bit of gold flecks in it but it's a really pretty lid color, especially if you have eyelash extensions like I do, um, where I don't like to do too much loose eyeshadow because it can tend to like look a little like dusty on my eyelashes, so I've been really into um, cream shadows. So I'm just applying this all over my lid um, and a little bit into my crease and the inner corner with my Sigma E58 brush. Just like that. I think it's really pretty. It really brightens your eye, opens it up. All right, so I feel like my face needs a little color. So I'm going to bronze it up with my Stila Sun Bronzer in shade two and um, my number 211 all over powder brush from It Cosmetics. Just going to warm up the outside edges of my face. I really just want to overall look a little bit more tan. Hit the temples, back of the cheekbones. And down the neck. A little on my nose too. Next up, I like to put a little bit of setting powder all over where I didn't do bronzer. Um, and I also avoid my under eye area because I set that with something else. Um, but for my powder today, I'm using Benefit Hello Flawless. Um, this used to be one that I just kind of like kept in my purse for touch ups, but then I started to really like it. So I pulled it out and now I use it every day. Just 
putting this on with my F88 from Sigma. This really helps give me that overall matte look. I really want my skin to look just perfectly flawless and then go back in with highlighting powders and some glitter and stuff to give me that glow. Um, I don't know, just what I've been liking lately. So like I said, I like to set my under eyes with something different. I love using the banana powder from my Anastasia Contour Kit. As you can tell, I am almost out. I really need to order a refill. And I'm just putting this on with a little brush that is actually from Walmart, believe it or not. For contouring, I love to use the bottom three shades in my Anastasia Contour Kit. I just blend them all together. This is a little angled brush from Marc Jacobs. Um, and most days I also use a cream bronzer to contour, but I just realized that I forgot to do that. So if you guys like to do that too, go ahead and do that before you put all the powders on. No way am I about to wash all this off and start over again. But the one that I've been using is um, my Sonia Kashuk Cream Bronzer in number 41. I really load this up, um, focus it mainly on the back of my cheekbones, and slowly working my way forward. Um, I just like a really dark, strong contour. And then I do work it a little bit along my temples and my hairline too. Not too much though. I'll do a little under my lip. Make it look a little bigger. And then I put just a little bit on the side of my brush and I'll do it along the sides of my nose. I love to use those same three colors on my eyes for my shadow. Um, it gives me a nice contour on my eyes and um, it looks really natural. So I'm using a tapered blending brush, the E35 from Sigma. Just going into my crease and bringing it upwards towards my brow bone. This is a really simple eye look. My main focus is just to give my eye some shape and make it look really bright and wide awake. Okay, so that's almost it for shadow. The only other thing I like to do is add a little bit of gold shimmer to my eyelids. For that, I love using Half Baked from Urban Decay. It's just a bright gold. Uh, it comes in the Naked 1 and the Naked 2 palette. So I'm just setting that on top of where we put that Sigma base. And this just really gives my eye a bright look. I think that's pretty. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is a little bit of shadow on my lash extension. So all I do is put a little water on my fingers and um, rub it off. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I like to brush my eyelashes out and comb them through with a spoolie, but I don't do it while they're wet because I notice that that tends to make some of them fall out quicker. So I like to do my eyeliner first while that water kind of dries and then I'll brush them through. So I'm just using Wicked Gel Liner from Sigma. For my lower lashes, I'm using Bronze Eyeliner from Mirabella. It's this really pretty rose gold colored eyeliner. I literally have used this every day since last February. I love this stuff. It's the perfect way to define your eye without using something like a black that can kind of tend to close up your eye. Just going to use a little bit of this bronzer from my contour kit to kind of smudge it and set it. So I'm just combing through my eyelashes with the spoolie now that they've dried. I do this every time I do my makeup before I go to bed, just a few times a day. Um, it's best to keep them like untangled and I don't wear mascara on them. They don't last as long if you put mascara on them. I've had these ones on for a little over two weeks now and um, today is Monday. I'm getting them touched up on Friday. So I wear them for about two to three weeks before I get them touched up. 
I do do a little mascara on my bottom lashes though, just using YSL Baby Doll, travel size. Also, if you guys are wondering, my lash extensions are Nova Lash, and um, you can just go right to Nova Lash's website and look up who is certified in your area, so that's what I did. All right, eyes are done, it's time for a little brows. I am using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Brunette to underline the bottom of my brows. I have a full in-depth tutorial of how I do this. Um, it's linked below in the description of every video, so it'll be in this one too. And then I like to fill them in with the medium brow powder from Sigma. I use mainly the light color. This is exactly the same as the Anastasia brow powder, um, but about half the price. So I've really enjoyed using this over the past few months and I'm using it with a E68. Okay, time for a little blush. I'm using my NARS Deep Throw. I mentioned this in my favorites video. Just love this stuff. I can never get enough of it. Using it on my um, It Cosmetics for Ulta brush. All right, and for highlighting, I've been using a mixture of two different things. So I love to use my Lorac Tantalizer um, Baked Bronzer. It's this gorgeous, bronzy, shimmery highlight. I apply that like directly on top of my blush to kind of give me more of like that bronzy glow. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. And the second highlighter that I use is the Naked Illuminated Original. This also kind of helps give me that really bright look to my skin. So I apply that to the top of my cheekbones and um, down the center of my nose. And I just like to kind of pat this in. Hold on my nose. Okay. okay, so everything is coming together. Last step is lips. And um, I'm going to be using one of those lip combos that I talked about in my favorites video also. So for liner, I use Milani spice yeah spice and outline my lips i overdraw them a tiny bit nude lipstick from gerard cosmetics and top it all off with shimmer of hope gloss also from Gerard. Lip brush to blend it all together. All right, so this is the final look. Um, just kind of like really flawless skin and then bright wide open eyes and then just some neutral lips. I really love this look. I think it looks fresh and clean um, but it also still looks pretty and feminine. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and that you try it out. Um, I love all these products that I used today. Definitely all like favorite things. Um, I think that's kind of why they all work together is because I spent like months and months trying to find all the perfect items and I really like it all. So if you guys try it out, please tag me in a post on Instagram or Twitter. Give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do makeup tutorials. I'm thinking about doing them a lot more often, maybe like once a week. You guys let me know and um, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.